All right, so now we're going to extrude this shape um, by clicking OK. And what we're going to do is we want to do a symmetrical extrude. So left click on the drop down menu, click the extrusion, the symmetrical extrusion button, which is the dotted line with two rectangles on either side of it. Left click on that. And we want to change the dimensions to 1.58 millimeters. 8 millimeters, and that will be our center circle which our pivot points will attach to. So left click OK on that. Alright, now we also want to put in some pivot points. So we're going to select this plane for starters, so left click on that, and we're going to left click on extrude once again and we're going to change our orientation to the left orientation for me again it doesn't really matter as long as you're on one of the sides and we're going to create a center and point circle actually we might use the concentric circle button and we'll go to the outskirts of this circle left click on that and you're going to make it much smaller than the larger circle. So left click again, and then middle click out. Now it looks like that's disappeared. So I'm just going to do that again briefly, changing to the left view. And click the concentric, stuck in the middle. There we go. All right, now we want to change the dimensions of this circle to 2.4 millimeters in diameter. So we're just going to try and get to that dimension by clicking on it. Okay. Might have to middle click out of it in order to get there again. Cooperating. There we go. <laughs> so we're changing the diameter to 2.4 millimeters. Enter. Now that's quite large. Is I'll just double check that is the correct dimensions 2.4. Yep, and we're able to now click OK as long as it's pink and it's a full shape that we can extrude. So left click on OK, and now we're going to extrude this shape, this circle to 3.5 millimeters out. 3.5, enter. And now we can click OK. Now, the next thing we want to do is we're going to mirror that shape down there to avoid having to make it again. So if you just drag a little box over that whole shape, or just click on the outsides of it. What you can do now is we can mirror that object so that it's on the other side of this without having to remake it. So if you go over to the extrude 11 and right click, it will come up with this a line with two purple uh, sort of shapes on either side of it and if you just hover over it it will say mirror so left click on that and now in order to mirror we need to choose a plane of which it will show up on the other side of so if you just choose the right datum plane which is in the center of this um, shape in the middle here left click on that 
as you can see, it's now shown up on the other side of that datum, that plane. And that's a perfect, um, a perfect uh, mirror. Um, it's not stuck further in or further out. That's perfect. So we can just left click on OK. And now we've created our leg pivot points, our waist essentially. So now what we were saying before is we want to actually move this further down so that it's not so much in the way. So I'm going to go to the front view and we're going to drag a box over all of that. And as you can see, most pretty much all of it's selected. From what I can see, can't tell if there's any not selected at the top there. And we'll just go to the front orientation. And I will now go to flexible modding, modeling. So if you just left click on flexible modeling, you can move an object using the dragger. So left click on move using dragger. And as you can see, it's gotten, it's, um, has a dragger uh, icon here that you can interact with and you can also rotate and horizontally drag as well but we're just going to use the vertical drag selection so this vertical line here left click on that and just pull it down and that's all you need just a little bit so that it's actually off the torso section and just left click OK maybe a little bit further Repeat that process, and we're just going to drag it down. Hmm. Ah, I see. What's it? What it's doing is it's not taking all of the object with it. So what we're going to do is select extrude eight and nine, and leave extrude seven. I'm going to select all of that, and now we'll try it once again. Move using dragger. There we go. And left click on OK. And there you have it. It is now separated. Alright, we'll go back to model selection. And now we are up to creating the legs. So let's stop the video there. And I'll see you next time.